Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have the 13th of September 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where do we stand in terms of the markets this uh, this morning? Let's see exactly how we're navigating. Uh, overnight Asian markets have uh, managed to bounce back with regards to talks of China and US certainly talking now. So that certainly will help sell sentiment to a large extent. You've got Hang Seng up, Shanghai up and the Nikkei higher as well. Although the dampener is Apple, uh, given the fact that there's been no new potential announcements and no new innovation, etc. to keep the Apple stock certainly uh, moving higher. And we all know Apple equals NASDAQ and equals the S&P. So certainly watch out for weakness in those two. Also in terms of the FTSE, we've got Brexit uncertainty, talk of no deal, talk of Theresa May potentially being ousted. Uh, and again, it's about time because uh, she really is an incompetent fool from my understanding. Okay. Oh, understood. Okay. So again, take the take, certainly take that into consideration. Okay, so yes, you need to certainly take that into uh, consideration. Okay, now in terms of the other areas as well, uh, let's have a look. Um, let's look at the fundamentals, given the fact that we've got the ECB today, we've got the BOE, uh, okay, on tap as well. We've got uh, CPI data from the US. Again, watch out, currency moves will be quite wild, okay. Uh, so far this morning, we've had inflation numbers more or less in line, uh, except uh, France, slightly weaker, and uh, again, Turkey's uh, Mr. Erdogan is talking about uh, interest rates there again and a potential attack in its country uh, and also we've got the BOE as well so uh, basically it's um, central bank day today that's probably the best way of explaining it yesterday uh, we have had uh, obviously uh, references with regards to China and US talking so certainly take that into consideration now let's look at the uh, technical picture now then okay with the German DAX certainly bouncing we are now coming into previous support equals resistance again uh, potential short squeeze there in the back of Mr. Draghi, potential inside information even. One could put it down to given the fact that they're expecting a dovish signal. So uh, Euro USD certainly is starting to move lower. We did get you US uh, inflation numbers slightly weaker than you expected yesterday and therefore you are looking for a potential uh, bounce in the Aussie. So take that into consideration too. Okay, so ever since we put in a double bottom at 11.890, uh, the German DAX certainly has bounced uh, to a large extent. Now the French CAC as well, we've certainly bounced up to gap fill. Certainly looking for potential resistance here now, certainly looking for weakness, uh, given the fact that we've closed that gap and therefore one would expect a potential reversal, especially in the back of Apple failure as well. So that certainly is something to, to uh, certainly take into consideration. We are nearly approaching that 200 MA. Uh, you do have previous support equals resistance here as well, so watch out, 5385, okay, in terms of the potential next move there. You do have an unfilled gap below as well, okay. Okay, so moving on to the French CAC then, going back to the French CAC. French CAC certainly pushing higher. We are now coming into resistance now in this 5.350 zone, so watch out there. We've got gap fill below as well. French CAC here holding that potential double bottom scenario. And again, exhausted to a large extent after closing that gap. Now moving on to the FTSE 100. FTSE 100 remains lack lackluster given the concerns regarding Brexit. We've come back, retested that key support of 7.29. We certainly are bouncing. Any potential bounce from my perspective now, we'll certainly be looking to potentially short. Although having said that, bear in mind, obviously Chinese markets certainly higher overnight. But the FTSE certainly seems to be subdued, given the uh, uncertainty regarding the Prime Minister and also given the um, stupidity regarding Brexit as well. Okay, the daily chart certainly is into support, but again, it really needs a, a powerful catalyst. Now, even US equities push, potentially pushing high yesterday failed to provide that catalyst so certainly take that into consideration too okay so i think that's a good summation really again um, central banks are on top anything could happen just prepare for that there's no way anyone can really forecast the actual direction of the market all we can do is react okay so uh, on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com to take, take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye